Storing any car for an extended period of time isn't as simple as just parking it and walking away. While many of us may have happy memories of jumpstarting our petrol powered cars, let's face it, it's just not good for the battery, the car and definitely your stress levels. EVs love being used and there are many quick and inexpensive ways to make sure that the battery stays in top condition while you're away on a holiday or stuck in a lockdown. Welcome to our channel, my name is Drew and today we'll be talking through tips and tricks on how to keep your EV battery happy. The state of charge or the SOC represents how much electricity is stored in your EV's battery pack. Some people, um, hang on a second, what's this idiot doing? Hey mate, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just plugging in my car so it's good to go when I'm back from my vacation. You shouldn't be leaving it plugged in for that long. It's not going to help your battery. Yeah, whatever. Some people I tell ya. Where was I? Ah yes. Some people like that guy you saw there might actually consider plugging in their car or charging it to 100% as they store it for an extended period of time and they leave for their holiday. Well, this can actually prove to be harmful for the EV's battery as when the cells are stored at a high voltage, it can cause faster degradation. So what should we do? Well, you'll be happy to know that there is a safe zone of between 20 to 80 percent to keep your battery at an optimum charge. And this actually applies to any other lithium ion battery out there, not just EVs. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't step out of this zone at all. It just means you can't step out of it for a very long time. For example, if I was going on a long journey now, I would happily top my car up to 100% because I know I won't step out of that zone for a very long time. On the flip side, if I had 25% left and I knew that my destination is going to require 15%, it wouldn't bother me at all because I know by the time I get to my destination, I will be putting my car on charge. The best practice is to keep your battery at a state of charge between 50 and 80%. 80% is low enough so that the electrolytes don't degrade over time, while 50% is high enough to ensure that the battery doesn't over discharge. And this is quite important because of something called the phantom drain, which just basically means the car is on even though it's not on. Any form of lithium ion battery typically discharges at a rate of around 2% per month. But EV batteries tend to drain faster because of the drain caused by the onboard electronics. Now over time all EVs tend to discharge but some may discharge faster than others. For example a Nissan Leaf parked away might actually only discharge at a rate of 3 to 5 percent per month whereas a connected car with power hungry electronics and all onboard features enabled like this Tesla right here might actually discharge at 1 to 2 percent per day and this discharge rate can depend on a lot of environmental factors things such as weather your vehicle's configuration what settings you have enabled in your car for example the sentry mode on the Tesla tends to chew up a lot of battery um, so you definitely have to take into account all these things as you decide on the right buffer to leave your car when you travel or are leaving your car for an extended period of time. The key here is to remember to turn off or disable any features that you don't need. Let's now talk about setting a charge limit on your car. For cars that have apps, the remaining charge can easily be checked from your phone. Some EVs such as the Tesla or some versions of the Nissan Leaf also have adjustable charging limits where you can set the charge to terminate at a specific level. Some cars offer the ability to adjust the charging limit via the app while others can be configured using the center console. The most important thing to remember here is not leaving your battery completely full or completely empty as this puts unnecessary pressure on those battery cells. It's just as important to remember the 12 volt auxiliary battery and yes indeed it is the same one that's found in our petrol cars. Now ironically if this battery is dead or flat that petrol car is useless it can't go anywhere just like an EV without a charge but the battery is definitely as crucial to the EVs as well. Oh geez looks like that idiot is back let's go see what he has to say now. Hey you're back. Bro, I'm just trying to charge my 12 volt battery with this power bank and this USB cable, eh? You're crazy, man. 
Oh, jeez. Looks like that guy needs to watch our YouTube videos to learn a thing or two. Anyways, so the petrol car uses an alternator to charge up this 12 volt battery. Now, EVs don't have the same alternator. So the way they charge the battery is they rely on the main traction battery, the big one, to charge the 12 volt auxiliary battery. Now let's use this power bank from a very helpful friend to see how this works in practice. So let's say this is our main traction battery inside an EV. And this right here is our 12 volt battery. Well, what happens is anytime you get inside the car and turn the ignition on, this main battery starts topping up this 12 volt battery as soon as you turn the ignition on. You don't even have to take your car for a drive. In fact, some cars like the Nissan Leaf and the Tesla automatically top of this battery even when the car is just parked up and turned off. And you might think that's brilliant and I don't have to worry about anything. Well, unfortunately, it's not as simple as that because some EVs, the ignition just has to be turned on for it to top up the 12 volts. For example, in the MG ZS EV, if you get in and if you turn the car on, but it's on the amber light and not in the ready state, it's actually using the charge from the 12 volt battery. So a lot of people come back to find that it's gone flat is because they didn't have it fully turned on with the green light in a ready state. But the good news is that the 12 volt charge is initiated in almost every single EV when it's plugged in and charging. So to play it safe, what I would recommend to everyone out there is to turn your EV on for at least 15 minutes every week to ensure that the 12 volt stays topped up. So you might be concerned that your battery is already full or above the 80% safe zone threshold and might be wondering, hey, how am I going to get this down to be within the threshold if I'm not driving it? Well, what you need to do in this case is simply turn the car on to ready mode as if you were going to drive the car. Then turn on every single electronic system in the car on. This would mean setting the heater to the highest setting with the fan speed also cranked up, the headlights on full beam, heated seats and whatever else you can find to turn on. By doing this, most EVs will use up around 3 kilowatts per hour, while some even may drain up to 6 kilowatts. So you essentially expect a 2-3% drop in the charge every hour. Alright, so these have been some quick tips and tricks on how to look after your EV's battery health. If you have friends and family with EVs as well, don't forget to share this video around so they get the benefits and it helps us grow our channel as well. If you have any other EVs that you may have some other tips for, please be sure to share them in the comments box below to help our audience and help us learn as well. If you're thinking about getting a new Tesla, don't forget to use our referral link down in the description below. And as always guys, remember, stay charged. <music>